Whoa, indeed. Hello, everybody, and welcome to my new episode in my nostalgia series. And look, we can uh, play around on the title screen. Well, on the Sega title screen, that is. And, um, well, you can probably already see from the title what, from the title of the video, that is what we'll be playing, but, um, I thought I'd just kind of show this off. I think there's a cheat you can do, like, you can, you can actually shoot this thing. And there's supposed to be some sort of cheat where you, uh, can... Oh, what was it? I, th I think there's, like, some sort of box hidden off screen, and if you shoot it, then you can, like, get a power-up. I'm not sure. But, um... Oh, well, maybe I'll check that out a little bit later. But for now, let's just do things normally. Oh, here we go. And what game do we have here? Why, we have for the Sega Genesis... Vector Man. Uh, back in the day, this was hot stuff. This was uh, the game all, all the kids wanted. At least uh, as far as I remember. I remember this being hyped up pretty big. Uh, where this was hyped, I'm not sure, since there weren't really that many commercials or anything um, that, during that time. But here's the story. Uh-oh. Man, it's like the, uh... It's just like Wally. Alright. Uh-oh. And what happens? Warhead is born. Man, look at how muscular that guy is. And he's hard, too. He's the last boss. Man, is he difficult. And now we have Vector Man. So he's the only robot that is not uh, hindered by the mind control. And then we start this again. So let's actually, uh... Oh, great. We have to go through this again, don't we? Yeah, we do. <laughs> I waited too long to actually press a button. But anyway, yeah, uh, another game that I loved as a kid. This this game, like, it still holds up quite a bit today. It's aged pretty well. I mean, it's not the best, but, um... It's pretty underrated. It needs to, uh, have more recognition. Alright. So, here we start. Oh, there's the pause, if you want to know. I love how it starts off right there because it almost looks like he has a cape going on. Anyway, the first thing you'll notice, the TV right here, shoot it. We get these little glowy thingies, these are points, sort of, they really don't serve any other purpose. There's a bad guy that you want to stay away from. He's one of the more annoying ones, actually. We didn't really get to see him. Let's see what we get. Oh, that gives us a power-up. Anyway, you'll probably notice that, um... Yes, these uh, levels are timed, so you have to get through it in a certain amount of time, and that can be real jerk at times. Oh, that's health right there, but we already have full health. Four units, we have two lives in the bottom left. Oh, we have these mosquito things here. Anyways, your basic um, side-scrolling shoot 'em up platformer. So it has, like, for the sake of Genesis, these are some awesome graphics, I'll tell you what. Oh, that sound means that our power-up is running out. Oh, well. Anyway, oh, five uh, times five, that means all points we get will be multiplied times five. Ow. We have these things that appear all throughout um, the game. Pretty much, it's mostly the same enemies throughout the whole entire game, not even kidding. So I can admit, it uh, does get a bit repetitive. And uh, I don't know what we got there. I think we got a health. I don't know. So yeah. So if you like uh, side-scrolling shoot 'em ups, perhaps not quite as advanced as Mega Man, but still. Be careful, this guy shoots stuff at you, and since he's on the higher ground, ow, you have to jump to get. Dang it! That's why I hate that guy. Yeah, we only have one life left, one thing of health left. I used to be a lot better at this as a kid. Come on, help. Oh, here we get sort of a transformation power-up. The, uh, jackhammer, and that will do things like that. You can destroy things. There are various power-ups. There's also like a, uh, bomb one where you have to, you can bomb a wall. Uh-oh. Careful. No, no! Ah! And that's what happens when you die. Hate those guys. Son of a... You know what? Oh, son of a... Ugh, seriously? Okay, um, something you can do. 
yeah, that, oh my gosh, that little boost, it actually hurts people, um, but it's not really useful, there's actually a boss fight where it's very useful, but not here. There we go, health, oh, son of a, what? ah, this first level just tests your patience. It's actually not quite this hard throughout the rest of the game, it's this first level, and I just pressed the wrong button. Okay. But yeah, as a kid, I never actually beat this game. I only beat this, like, when I was kind of doing a little test run of it. I decided, why not? I'll just go all the way through, and it's actually a really short game. You can get through it if you're quick and... Um, a little over an hour. That's assuming you actually get through it. No, no. No! Ugh. Oh, here's the bomb I was talking about. It kills all the enemies on that are around you, and it opened up this thing. There we go. See, that gave us an extra life boost, so now we have five dogs of life instead of four. Hooray. So, yeah, lots of secrets around in these parts. Ah. Yeah, those little fly things will constantly respawn, so we'll give Oh, you see, there's another guy like this? Ah, there's no jumping over him. Oh my god! Okay. And we have no more lives left, so... <laughs> On the first level, I'm already lost pretty much all my lives. Great. No, 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 no. Health, health, health. Yes, health, okay. Oh, I hate these guys with the fiery burning passion. Oh. And once again, only one unit of health left. And here? No, but that's a continue point. Yeah, it's good to destroy those TVs because they'll also give you continue points. But there's only health if you actually have life. If you're out of lives, then it's over. You're done. Any health over here? No, nobody's gonna drop any. Great, and we're coming up on the boss. But the boss is actually not that hard if you know what to do, and I missed some secret spots over there. What do we get? Alright. Oh, yeah, careful. Do that, and when it opens, start shooting up. And you'll die. And it's game over. That was the first level. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let me show you a little uh, secret that I used to use as a kid. If they'll... Ah, oh, stupid title screen again. It won't let me get past it. I'm pressing all the buttons, but... Nope, doesn't let you get past. You have to watch the animation. Okay, let's try this again. Let me show you my little secret. There's a cheat. Press the pause button. And then uh, press the buttons. Let's see. Right, let me... Okay, that's... Okay, I've got it. C, A, left, left, A, C, A, B. Ha! And you turn to this little cursor. So you do the code, which is pretty much call a cab. Pretty clever, huh? And you can get around, you're invincible. And you can kill anything you want. Unfortunately, since I've done this cheat, if I were to then go through the whole game and get to the end, it would say, well, you beat the game, but you cheated, so we're not going to count it. So yeah, <laughs> you can cheat and get through stuff, but uh, it doesn't end up well too well for you. But I'm doing it just so I can show you the final points. If you want to turn back, you just go back and um, do the same code again. But I'm, I'm going to get back to that, that boss. And I don't think you can actually kill the boss in this mode. You can kill regular enemies, but this doesn't actually work on bosses. If I recall correctly. It works on these guys, and that's satisfying. Alright, so this is right before it. Let's do it again. C-A-L-L-A-C-A-B. Let's get a continue point. And I, I promise you, this is really an easy boss fight. You just have to kind of get the rhythm of it. So first, uh, dodge those things. Then you can only hurt it when that thing is open. And that's usually what happens, that you'll just destroy any bomb before it actually lands on you. And then... Oh, 
not. And just keep shooting. And keep going. You can also shoot at diagonal angles, so that's pretty cool. Probably should have mentioned that before, but you probably already saw it. There we go, now I remember how to do this. I used to be a freaking expert at this game. Aha! There we go. Level bonus, time bonus. Points don't really matter at all. Like, I, I beat the game, it didn't even give me like a place to put like a high score or anything. Oh, we have a new mechanic. This is the only level that actually does this. Okay. Shoot this guy's hands before you reach him, or you'll die. Or you can, yeah, you can actually jump over his hands, but it, I found if you shoot fast enough, it's not an issue. Keep going. Crap, that's not working out. I'm... Ah. Okay. Just do it. Just do it the way it's supposed to be done. Ah. I think I'm getting hurt by those little dot things. No, I wasn't even talking that whole time. Oh, you can go back and forward as well. Okay, I swear I beat this guy on the first try, but... Like, when I was doing it, my uh, test play of it, I beat this guy on my first try. But, um, you know, curse of the let's play and all that. There we go. See, he's not that hard. And there will be several different levels that where you have like several different transformations, but uh, well, not several. There's like three of them. <laughs> but they'll be pretty fun. And then you get to this new level, underwater. All right. There are a few new enemies, but a lot of the same ones. Luckily, no more of those green guys for a while, and that is a blessing. That makes things a lot more easier. Did I just say a lot more easier? I just did. I'm sorry about that, folks. I'm an English major. I should know better. Alright. Ooh, we like Alright. you. And. Oh, we have these enemies. Yeah. The bubble tentacle things. If you touch the bubbles, you get hurt. Pretty easy. Oh, can't get through there. Gone. Oh, I think I know how to get through there. Here's our little bomb, buddy. Aha! See? Little secrets you can find. Oh. Bomb button. And, ah. I think you do get a bonus if you collect each and every single one of these little sparkle things, but, um... Not like I'm just gonna bother with that. Oh, another transformation. Fishy guy. Don't know what he's good for except for going fast, but okay. Well, that was fun, but kind of pointless. Alright. Kill you. Ah, oh, come on. So how are you liking this game? Have, have any of you ever played this game before? Not too bad. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, Side-scrolling platformers are just not my thing. I am horrible at them. But that's kind of um, the majority of what the Sega Genesis had, so you go with it. I have uh, plenty more. Oh, come on. But yeah, I'll tell you the truth, the levels kind of get repetitive too, because you have this water level and then you have like a ton of like ice cavern levels. I swear half the levels are just ice cavern levels. And... There's not even a boss at the end of this level, so let me just uh, go through it real quick and um, let me show you some other interesting stuff. So let's do... C-A-L-L-C-A-B Ah. Ah. We're faster if we're above water. So just go. Just do it. Just go. 
fast, 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 fast. See how... Yeah, this is all the level that we would have gone through. And we beat it. Alright. Yeah, notice that you also can't collect anything. Sorry, I just bumped the microphone. You can't collect anything while you're doing... Yeah, see, this is where it starts getting super repetitive. There are so many freaking ice cavern levels. It is ridiculous. Let's uh, do the code again. And yes, this is cheap, but it's, this is me showing you the game, not me beating the game for you. So, do it again. Do, 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 up, 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 up. Yeah, this is like a level where you have to keep going up, and then you don't want to fall down. Oh, and there's a boss here. So let me get back, because we can't hurt the boss like this. So, um, let's see. I have to remember where my keys are on my keyboard because this is an emulator. Alright, oh, here's the boss. And, uh, he can be pretty frustrating if you don't know how to deal with him. Basically, to avoid him, uh, just keep running. You get a, you only get a couple hits on him, but um, it's the best way to avoid taking damage because he'll do a lot of damage on you. So just uh, keep going and do do do. Oh, what is this guy called? I can't remember what the, this guy's name is. I remember he has actually like a pretty cool name. This isn't even his final form. Yeah, I said it. I used a meme to describe a boss. Yeah, this takes a while, and this can actually be tricky if you, like, don't have much time when you finally get back. Some bosses will, like, screw you when you don't, like, when you have very little time when you get to them. Because to beat them, you either have to be really good at dodging or just really patient. And now, he turns into Bear Man easy enough to take care of, because he can't turn around until he gets to the end. So just wait until he passes by. Oh, or he can do that. Uh, I'll just meet you at the next stage. Okay, so I beat the guy. Yeah, the reason I was so good at this game before without even cheating is because, um, like, usually with these bosses, it'll take, like, one or two tries before you get their pattern down and know it, but, like, if you've done, if you play the game enough times, you'll finally just get it down, and... And another ice cave. Ah, <sighs> well, I'll show my way through this one. C-A-L-L-A-C-A-B... Oh, we have these new enemies. These guys are actually pretty cool. They're not even that hard, because they don't shoot at you or anything. They will they'll kick, but they won't shoot. And there's another new enemy that's actually, like, there's only, like, one of it in the whole game, I think. It seems, it might even be, like, considered a sub-boss or something. I don't know. But we'll sh I'll show it to you. Oh, there's this guy. Um. Oh. Well, I think I just killed it. <laughs> Whatever I was trying to show you. Oh well. It wasn't that big a deal. It was pretty much that same, like, that little gunner guy I killed right before it. It was the same as him, except he has, like, a face mask on. It's weird. And I don't get this. What is this about? I never got this. It's like this... Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, here he is. I guess I didn't miss him. Yeah, check this guy out. the heck? Yeah, you have to destroy parts of him because, like, you have to destroy the, the hand, and then the mask, and then the body itself. There was actually a Vector Man 2 for the Sega Genesis, and I, I think they they were either just planning to, or they actually did remake this for, like, a next-gen console, like for PlayStation 2 or something, but it never really uh, took off. I don't know. I've never played any other Vector Man besides this. Oh, maybe there's a lot more to this. I thought I forgot about the bamboo mill. This is actually where we'll be uh, seeing our next boss, I believe. Let's see. C A 
L L A C A B. Like, like I said, just showing the game off, not really planning to do this well. Things can get a bit frustrating. At this point, we have more of these guys again. Like, if you jump on one of these things, uh, it'll, like, lead you down, I believe. So that's how you might like, get through. You see, enemies are starting to be a bit more numerous, and it starts to be a little bit more mazy. Sometimes you get to an area and you'll realize that, like, uh, there's no way forward, and so you have to go way back and backtrack and upward and downward and all sorts of words. Oh, here we go. Okay, so here's the next boss. And, uh, here's how you deal with this guy. See that blast off thing? You want to use it here. He's only vulnerable on the top of his head. Darn, I didn't do that right. But every time you hit him, he lets off those bombs. So you have to get him, and get out of the way of those bombs. Like that. And then he'll come rushing toward you. Ah, dang it. But if you don't time it right, then you'll just end up getting killed. And I started out the beginning because I didn't have a continue point. Crap. Ah, hold on, folks. Oh god, my goodness. Seriously, I think that guy, like, besides the, like, even, I think this guy's even harder than the final boss, honestly. I hate him. I don't know if there's a better way to do it than what I was doing, but man. Ah. Okay, here's one of the new things I want to show you. This will probably be the last real boss I show you. The rock and roll owl. After to shoot the hands while at the same time moving forward because if you let that thing roll out from under you, you die. I think that's sort of basic. So just wail on him. Aha! I think we should have died there, but we didn't because I got him just in time. That could be either really quick or really painstakingly slow, depending on how you play it. Okay, maybe I overset. Oh, and I died because, yeah, you, uh, however much health you had, you bring it on over and you have those new fire extinguisher enemies. I, I, yeah, but like I was saying, I think I over-exaggerated with the whole ice cavern thing. It seemed like so much, it probably just seemed so much longer because I did it, like, on foot instead of with the little cursor thing. But anyway, this is pretty much just sort of a palette swap of the first few. And, um, it doesn't really get much different from here. There's, like, one more weird, like, well, there's a few more bosses, but, um, it actually doesn't really get that much different from here on. But anyway, this is Vector Man. This is a game that I loved in my childhood. But playing it now, it, like like I said, I'm just not the kind of guy that's into side-scrolling platformers. Can't do them. Mega Man kills me every time. Can't even get past one boss in that game. So, anyway. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you have... I was about to say if you have any requests, request, but it's not like you really know exactly which games I've played, but... I guess if you do have any requests for an old game you'd like me to just kind of show off, go ahead. Why the heck not? Who knows? I'll just stay tuned for my current LPs or whatever I have going on right now. So, thank you for watching, and have a good day.